Hey guys, Dylan Tommy here. Time for a green room update. I'd like to run through the tanks and we'll uh, check a couple of things out. I actually uh, moved a couple of tanks. I brought the albino crevensis up here, up onto the top shelf, so that I could uh, enjoy them for a little bit longer as I watch them grow out, rather uh, than down on the lower shelf. Also, there was a, a temperature concern. They uh, are this tank's a little well heated. Uh, rather than this tank that's down here that actually has nothing in it anymore. And it looks pretty good just because uh, it's been running for a week or so with just uh, nothing in it except for those plants. I cleared out all the dead debris and all the lousy looking plants and uh, tried to clean it up when I uh, switched these tanks around. But I'm digging the crevensis up here on this top shelf. Like I said, uh, these fish will likely be for sale pretty soon. So uh, just enjoying them for a little bit longer while I still have them here in the fish room. Let's check out the guppy tank. I told you about continually battling this hair algae. And uh, it's looking pretty good right now. The moss has really uh, took a hit. But this floating plant and the way I'm managing the system right now uh, really looks good. It looks decent. It's coming along. I did spend a lot of time actually f removing some of the hair algae uh, with my hand, just picking it out of there. You can't completely uh, depend on the fish and the snails and the system itself. You got to get in there and just remove any excess debris that you uh, you can. But uh, along with the limited feedings and my uh, my water spray here with the aerial advantage, I even got a sword in there right now. Tank's looking a lot better. I added a new filter there too, so uh, that fluval's running. We'll keep cruising. The large planet tank, I gotta say, looking pretty hot right now with. Uh, these beautiful baby tears here growing out right next to the Wenty. And uh, if you notice, I uh, clipped all the Amazon sword runners. They're all gone. I uh, wanted to clean the tank up a little bit and uh, hopefully uh, make room for some of these harder to keep plants to grow out. Trimming back a lot of the swords. And uh, if you look over here, really tried to do the best I could at isolating a lot of the pieces of Ludwigia and uh, really trying to get them to grow out in this corner here. Uh, but it's been tough. Some of the pieces I have are very small. And check these guys out, they look great. Yeah, buddy. Check out this tank down here. I trimmed a lot of the wisteria into this kind of palm tree effect where I clipped all the leaves kind of from the midsection right on down. So it kind of creates this canopy effect. And uh, hopefully as they continue to grow out, uh, it'll create a little more coverage here um, with the light. I mean, it's already a low light tank, but I'm, interesting to, I'm interested to see what that uh, canopy effect uh, looks like. Also trimming these, uh, these robust leaves here on the wisteria kind of opens it up a little bit and you're able to see the fish a little bit better. So uh, I kind of dig that. I like the, the, the palm tree effect in this uh, low light tank. And we'll see how it grows out. Like I said, I'm interested in, the, in what the canopy looks like. And check out this tank. Just a couple weeks ago, I kind of highlighted this tank and said, look at how great the Madagascar lace plant's doing. And you can't even see it because this is where uh, all the Amazon sword runners and all the plants that I plan to uh, to keep and, and grow out uh, have ended up. And uh, often when I throw these plants into this tank, uh, they come in with debris and algae. So the fish get a meal out of it. I mean, the shrimp get a meal out of uh, these new plants. So uh, definitely a tank that needs some maintenance because it just won't survive very long like that. But like I said, it's always been a holding tank for uh, excess plants, plants that I have plans for. Hey buddy. Mojo! He seems pretty chill today. You get a quick cameo because we're going to keep rolling. Definitely roll into a paludarium. I told somebody recently that I uh, could take these two tanks right now and say forget about the rest of the green room because these two tanks have just been my absolute favorite lately. I've been completely in love with uh, my Bershardi colony down here and uh, all the great growth that's happened here in the paludarium. And uh, we'll do a quick little update. I haven't uh, 
really spent much time looking at the paludarium last couple weeks, so uh, let's cruise. So great growth down here on all the rocks and uh, all the baby tears that I added to the tank. They're just reaching for the surface. And check out the right hand side. This side's always been the best side for uh, the Java moss growth. And I'm just super proud of that. That looks so great right there. And it's thriving right along the edge here. It's all starting to look uniform and I'm getting that really cool immersed growth. Even right under here, under this bromeliad where it doesn't get so much light. Really growing out nice. And on this left hand bank. But yeah. That's what the paludarium is looking like lately. Like I said, really happy about uh, all the lush growth, all the, the java moss acclimation, because it's really doing a good job at uh, settling right here on the face, this concrete face that I've uh, designed. And right now I have uh, the drip effect off. Uh, it was running a little earlier, and you can see that it's still, still pretty wet inside here, but uh, It'll dry fairly quickly with these hot lights, and you'll see the, the java moss start to need um, water. So I'll, uh, I periodically turn the, turn the drip system on and off, and I, I'd actually like to get it on a timer eventually, and I'm not sure if I can uh, totally add that to the system, but we'll see. Let's check these guys out real quick. They're great. This colony is just doing fantastic. Look at Dad, he just stands guard. Yeah, these are mine, he says. I got you, buddy. We'll cruise the tank real quick, see if we can. Got a little Julia Chromis hanging out back there. They hide out, they really do. There's actually another one up here. They seem very comfortable down here lately. Very cool, they don't get much showtime, whoa. But that is a beautiful fish. I'm happy to see them out in my tank right now. Like I said, I don't often see them out, especially both of them, look at this. Oh, here comes mom. She said, nope. Scared off that little guy. I have a feeling she's, uh getting ready to spawn again. It seems every time I look at these fish. I've been spending a lot of time in this shell here. All right guys, that's a quick little Brashardi update. Having fun in the green room. Keep tanking on. You guys rock. I appreciate every single one of you guys commenting on my videos, liking my videos, subscribing to my channels, enjoying the content that I put out because it's pretty much just me kicking it in the green room and uh, I love what I'm doing. I enjoy myself and I enjoy the community here on YouTube. So you guys have a good one. Oh wait, 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 before we go, I got a good thing to show you. I didn't tell you that I uh, planted out this little vivarium, the terrarium here. There's nothing alive inside of it yet. This is mostly mostly just dead moss, but uh, it's a medium. It's a place to uh, to grow some plants. So eventually, uh, we'll plant out that vivarium and uh, have another little habitat there. Thanks, guys. I appreciate it. Like I said, you guys have a good one. Tank on.